Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, we pretty much just got started playing the game. We went through some of the tutorial things and whatnot. If you missed that episode, you should definitely go back and check it out so you kind of know where we are in this episode. I can also just pop a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can go watch that. We ended the day in the last episode, so we got this PC in that's here on the floor. So in this episode, we need to paint this one. That's the first thing we need to get done. Then we need to go check the PC and check our email <laughs> and see. I, we should have got more email in. I see a little red dot there, so I'm assuming we got more email. Let's see what this says. It says, for this job, you need to change and retrofit the workbench ready for class customization. Highlight the workbench and press B to change its type. Okay. So can we do that while we're holding a PC case? Case modding. There we go. We'll put that down. So we need to paint this red. We need to paint this red. So let's see. The customer's requested that the entire case be painted red. Select the spray can to start painting. Let's do it. Does it matter what color red? Let's see. We can make the nozzle size bigger and smaller. It's good to know. We can adjust the transparency. We can do hard or soft. And then it looks like they want us to do this color. And they want it on the glass. Okay. So let's let's paint this. Oh, I keep going off the case. Okay. So does it not paint? Oh, huh, interesting. It only paints certain parts. Can we paint the top? Okay. There we go. So it left this this ring here unpainted. That's interesting. And the feet. <laughs> the feet on the case. There we go. So all the sides are red and the job's complete. Take it back to the delivery area. Go to the email to collect our payment. Cool. Let's get this thing out of here. Technically, this would still be wet paint. <laughs> so we'd have that all over our hands. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be real fun. Okay, so let's hop in here to the email. Maybe. There we go. What do we got here? So paint it red. This was the one we just did. Let's go ahead and collect that. We'll get our 120 bucks. We got an achievement called bootstrapping. All right. Well, let's see. Left click the boxes in the hallway to unpack your delivery. Contents we added to your inventory. Good to know. Let's get rid of that one. We've already done it. Here's something from Uncle Tim. If you're reading this, you've got that old PC of mine up and running. I knew you could do it. Now you've got a new workshop and a computer, which means we officially are open for business. The only problem is money. Specifically, we don't have any. Well, I mean, I'm showing 1035 bucks, but you know, whatever. I'm sure you can make do for now, but if you really need cash, the bank might be able to set you up with a loan. Just don't push it, okay? They're already asking me awkward questions about what happened to the old workshop. I'm thinking a trip abroad might be in order. Good luck, Uncle Tim. P.S. I've posted you another little gift, something to help organize things. Should arrive tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Okay. So maybe that's what already arrived. Let's see, we've already done this, so let's delete that. These things were all done in the last episode. So let's get rid of that. We did that. We did that. We've unlocked a bunch of parts. We've got 6th and 7th gen Intel. Oh, gosh. Uh, are we going back to old stuff again? Are we? We don't have new stuff. For a new game? All right. Oh, man. Okay. All right, well, we'll get rid of that. So we need to replace an air cooler. Here's other new parts we got. We got some RAM, a GTX 970, and the H440 from NZXT. So we've only got this. We've only got this. So we're going to have to end the day probably even to bring this in. Because it's not here. We haven't accepted it yet. Let's read it real fast, and then we'll go see what Uncle Tim sent us, because I think that was delivered. This says, I'm so super stoked to see a new repair shop in town. Totally sex what happened to the last one. I hope they catch the guy who did it. <laughs> well, yeah, that'd be interesting. Anyway, the air cooler on my computer is busted, and the whole thing is really uncool. Like, literally uncool. I can feel the heat coming off of it. Can you replace it for me? Hope you can help, Brody. So, 50 bucks, PC stats, let's take a look. They've got the AMD Wraith Prism. Let's see, can we, can we, can we open the shop? There we go. CPU cooling, AMD Wraith Prism. Yeah, 
So it's right here. So we can add that to our basket. Is that all we needed? Oh, we can add it to the basket right here. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, um, can I go here? Because I want to I play around with that. Let's, let's minimize that. So we need to replace the air cooler. So we can hit that. There it is. Oh, it still doesn't add it. It just takes us here. Well, that's still very, very nice. Nice quality of life update. Okay. So let's go back. We can... I don't think we need anything else from this. We'll close that out. Go to the email. Let's go ahead and accept it. Some jobs require new, additional, or replacement components, so let's order a new air cooler for this customer's PC. When buying components, be careful to only buy components which are as good or better than those the customer already has. Okay, thanks. Close all open apps to continue. What? Okay. Why are you, why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Well, well done. You've ordered a new part. You can use the calendar to check when any new parts will arrive and find them in a box in the hallway once they get here. Great. Great, great. Okay. So it should be here tomorrow as well as the PC. Close that out. Uh, did Uncle Tim send us a tablet? Because this has a tablet and this is probably... Yep, there it is. Tablet. Let's go ahead and get that. Uncle Tim has sent you a brand new tablet to help run the business. Let's take a look and see what it does. Let's do that. So we push T to pull up the tablet. It's now ready to use. It's packed with apps and has a snazzy camera. It can be used on the move to manage your time more effectively. If you're not sure where to start, check out the pre-installed decorator app. Oh yeah, we can decorate this place. Big Bob has agreed to redecorate your workshop for free. You can change the floor, ceiling, walls, posters, desk, and many other features. See what's available. So it detects things and we can totally pick... Uh, what we want this place to look like. I don't know that I want to do that right now. I kind of like the, uh, do I have to do that? I kind of like the ghetto-ness of this place. It's got kind of a, a certain trashy appeal. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it like this for a bit. We will probably, in another episode, check out the Decorator app. I'm sure you guys have already messed around with it, and... What not, but we'll do that in another episode. I'm going to leave this place looking like it is. Let's go in the day. Let's get in that repair. Let's see. Delivery, delivery in the day. There we go. Here's our fix. Um, I got to switch this bench back to build mode. Let's put that there. And we can grab our cooler. You have the new air cooler, you just need to exchange it with the old one. <laughs> I figured as much. Get this side panel off of here the slow way. When, when, when do we unlock quick screw? Hey, can I turn off these tool tips? Because I know what I'm doing here. Can can Okay. It won't it won't, <laughs> it won't let me back out until I do what it's telling me to do. Alright. I don't, I don't need the tool tips. So we need to go here. We need thermal paste. And uh, everybody else has done a smiley, so I'm just going to put some on. <laughs> and we need to grab our new cooler. Man, these, these tool tips. These tool tips are too much. Why? Oh, they want me to put the side panel on before I can even plug it in. Oh, gosh. Well done! Let's make sure it works. Okay. So, we'll cable this up. We'll power it on. There we go. Power on. Should I hop into the BIOS or is it not going to let me like it did in the last? Oh, we're not going to be able to do anything here. Oh, maybe we can. There we go. They did need some X and P. Get a little more RAM speed. You going to start? There we go. There we go. Okay, this thing's done. They only have the one... 
Why does that look like it's spinning really slow? Is that what it's supposed to do? Or is that just it's trying to do that optical illusion thing? <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. Let's go put this out in the delivery area. We can collect uh, this thing. We'll pull up the tablet. We'll do that on here. Where was it? Broken cooler. Let's go ahead and collect that. $196 profit. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, let's see what this uh, this says about this. Case we painted red says, much appreciation for the new case. That's exactly what I asked for. Unfortunately, it was so perfectly matched to the red I had used to paint the walls that I tripped over it and landed on my nose. <laughs> right on the nose, huh? You didn't put your hand out to stop or nothing. That's, that's something. All right. My next project will be about the interface between technology and pain. I'm really feeling this one. Peace, Cassante. Okay. All right, so this one we need to replace an SSD. Thanks so much for assisting with my virus problem. The computer did seem to run more smoothly after your ministrations. However, I now find myself in the teeth of another difficulty. I have no idea what an SSD is. I wrongly assumed it to be a rather delicate medical issue. Oh my. But a computer literate friend assures me that mine has broken and it needs to be replaced. He's kindly allowed me use of his laptop to send this missive, but I'm leery of trying his patience too far. Could you see your way clear to replacing the relevant part for me as soon as possible? Best wishes. Okay, so we need to replace this SSD. Let's find it here. The RAM. There it is. This A data one. So we can immediately add this to the basket. We can go back here. We can close this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go ahead and accept this. And we'll place our order here in a minute. Let's take a look at what this is. What's up, mate? You good? I bought this PC for playing music at my house parties. Proper cool. We call him DJ Computer. Oh, gosh. DJ Computer in the house. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Can you paint the outside of the case green so it contrasts with the sick red lights inside? But don't spray the glass because I want to see the bling. Cheers, Jay. All right. Well, Jay, <laughs> we'll paint your case green. Let's go ahead. Let's accept that. Then we need to go back to the shop because we need to check out with this. So next day delivery, blah, 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 blah. Let's buy it now. Let's close that. And I think we're ready in the day. We're ready in the day again. Uh, everything's coming in tomorrow. Let's end it. Very nice. Okay, before I pick those up, let's grab the SSD. And here's the fix. Let's grab that first. Customer needs to replace broken SSD. This will require the installation of a new operating system. Let's get started. Let's do it. Man, this thing always wants us to remove something different than what I guess I feel like I need to remove. Okay, tool tips. <laughs> Yes, let's get rid of that. Storage. New one. Install. Cable. Let's see. We'll plug it in there. Um, so now it wants me to leave the side panel off and just connect stuff. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, at the tooltips. Now it wants the side panel. Okay. We'll get the USB drive in. Golly. <laughs> Power this on. Uh, should we hop into the BIOS? Unable to enter BIOS whilst in tutorials. Gotcha. Can we hurry up and be done with the tutorials so we can get on with actually doing this stuff? So we've successfully replaced the SSD and install new operating system. It can now be returned to the customer. Sounds like a plan to me. So there's that. Then we've got this one that we need to paint green. And I probably could just take it to another workbench, but we'll just change this to case modding. And that'll be pretty simple. So they don't want us to paint the glass. So we'll do not apply on glass 
And they just said they wanted it green. Let's do that. And there we go. Whoa. Things kind of tripping out a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's all green. All green. So this should be done. We can go put this away. There we go. Okay. Tablet time. Let's go to our email. Let's see, this one was painted green. Let's collect that. 200 bucks. We will take that for sure. And then replace the SSD. We'll collect that one. 210 bucks. Done deal. Okay. Let's see. We got some new parts. Got an SSD and some RX 470s and some more Corsair Dominator Platinum. Some cases. Okay. So this wants us to upgrade to a GTX 970 or better. I mean, for me, that seems like it's getting a little bit old, but hey, you know, I guess whatever the customer wants. The email says, do you do upgrades? Only my best friend, well, second best, but it's a long story, just got a new GeForce a GTX 970, and she's been going on and on about how great it is while I'm stuck with this old thing. I wouldn't mind, but she does this every time she gets something new, and it's so annoying. Like, okay, yes, we get it, you have more frames per second, but that doesn't make up for the fact that your team still has to carry you through every game. Have you not heard of playing the objective, Megan? Jesus. Anyway, I saved up my pocket money and did some garden work for my neighbors, and now I've finally got enough for my own 970. I'm not fussed on what brand you use, but that ought to shut her up for a while. Okay. So, <laughs> they want a 970 or better. Uh, let's see what their stats are now. Yeah, that CPU, Ryzen 5, <laughs> 1400, right? Okay. Okay. I mean, they've got a case that should pretty much hold anything. They've got a 750 Ti, and they want a 970 or better. All right. All right. What was the budget here? 650 bucks. Can we get something better than a 970? <laughs> oh, gosh. Go to the shop. Graphics cards. I probably don't have access to anything better than a 970 anyway. I already forgot what their budget was. Parts budget, $650. Sort by price descending. What's the most expensive thing we've got? Really? <laughs> uh, a 470, yeah. Okay, well, 970, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'd probably rather have a 1050 Ti than a 970 personally, but that's just me. Is that the only 970? I mean, we've got the Sheehan, which actually has better frequencies. Can we put in two 970s? Like, I'm really tempted to buy two of them. With that budget, $650. I mean, we could get two of these for $560. bucks. we are going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, let's, let's accept this. Many customers will ask you to upgrade components in their PCs. For most parts, you can do this by comparing details in the shop, but for graphics cards and processors... It's also worth checking the parts ranking app on your PC and tablet. Make sure the parts you select has equivalent or higher rating than the one requested. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so new CPU. Hi, my computer's been behaving very erratically for the past few weeks. I've had boot errors, freezing blue screens, and other mysterious occurrences. The exorcist I called in told me that it's probably a faulty CPU and more likely to be your field than his. Well, <laughs> called it an exorcist. <laughs> If this is the case, could you please replace the CPU for me? Hopefully the holy water hasn't compounded the damage. I did leave it next to the radiator to dry. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they've got a Ryzen 3 1300X. Uh, let's get one of those. Can we just, can we do that? The task tracker allows you to allocate parts to specific jobs. This window can be brought up by interacting with the link icon in the checkout. Right on. Uh, no. No, why is it wanting to link with that job? Let's, uh, let's not... Maybe... Oh, you know what? I bet I have to accept it. Let's accept it first. Then I bet we can link it. There we go. So we can link it with that one. We'll confirm that. Uh, let's check out. Next day, we're good to go. And close out these PC stats. Email, everything's in transit. Let's end our day. Let's get this stuff in. Let's do it. Maybe. There we go. All right. Let's take a look here. Here's our stuff. 
our stuff and things. Upgrade. Let's do that first. Let's do that first. We'll switch this bench real quick back to build mode. Get the side panel off here. Guess we're going to find out if this thing's going to let us put in two 970s or not. It may or may not. If it doesn't, then I guess we'll just have an extra one in our inventory. Can I, can I put in two? Will you let me? Nope. That's dumb. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind having extra parts in my inventory. So, let's cable this up. There we go. And we'll get these cables plugged in. And we'll make sure this bad boy boots into the operating system. Probably hop into the BIOS as well. Just to see if we need to turn on XMP. Let's see. We sure did. And let's restart. And we should be good to go. I mean, we've obviously got display right here. So if the graphics card wasn't going to work, it wasn't going to work. Game over. Okay. Let me get the side panel put back on. And we should be able to go plop this out in the delivery area. And grab the... I don't remember what it was. Oh, CPU. One that needed a new CPU. So we'll grab that. What is this case? It looks huge. Oh my. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Don't think we even need to clean that. But let's see if it is broken. It is. It's broken. So we can grab the new one. Get that installed. And tools. Thermal paste. Get a nice little blob. Not enough. There you is that good? Are you happy now? <laughs> uh, let's get their cooler back on. And we'll cable that up. And zoom out. Can I can I close this? There we go. And let's get all of this cabled up, make sure it can boot. And we'll be done and ready to move on to the next thing. There we go. Power. Again, let's hop into the BIOS. Maybe. There we go. Let's see if they need XMP. They did. And we'll let this thing boot. It should do just fine. And then we'll be done with this one. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, into the back room with you. Let's open up the tablet here. Let's see, let's go down here. We can collect that one. 245, we'll take that. And we'll collect that one, 540. On the job, on the job, there we go. Popping achievements, okay. And we can delete that. Let's see, we got some new parts. What is this? Dear Value Potential Client. We're excited to offer you once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to expand your working space and your business horizons. You've recently come to our attention as fast-growing local business with an unused shop front that's begging for a little renovation. For just $500, we'll completely overhaul your shop front so you can sell PCs as well as fixing them. Opening up a whole new revenue stream. Best of all, we guarantee all work completed overnight. That's right. Our team of hardworking engineers and overpaid consultants will work from dusk till dawn to have your new workspace ready the next day. <laughs> Customer testimonials. I can't believe they were able to do this in just eight hours. I gave them the keys and they unlocked the potential of my business. They overhauled my warehouse overnight and I didn't even hire them. Now that's efficiency. <laughs> this offer is only available for a short time, so act fast. Grow your biz because life's too short to wait. So, yeah, this is probably... 
PC Building Simulators 2 PC Bay. <laughs> We're gonna sell stuff out of the shop. Sure, we'll pay 500 bucks. Let's do it. Storefront is now due to be built. When you leave for the day, the bills will move in and have your new shop ready for tomorrow morning. Great. Good to know. And we leveled up, so we unlocked a bunch more stuff. Jeez. Okay. Let's see, this email says, I'm told you are newly available for computer hardware modifications. My name is Professor Edmund Vile. You may not have heard of me, but not to worry, you will soon. Wahahaha. I've recently been experimenting with the use of neural network AIs to infiltrate and take control of complex computer systems, like, say, a satellite network, with very promising results. Doing so requires a large amount of computing power. I find GPUs work very well. Sadly, my computer, borrowed from a government agency, was never built to sustain this level of power and desperately needs an upgraded power supply. Assist me and you'll be spared when I ascend to the rank of Supreme Ruler of Earth. Fail me and, well, let's just say I have a bathtub full of piranhas that I'd be glad to introduce you to. All the best, Professor Vile. Okay, so they want an A-Data XPG Core Reactor 650 watt PSU or better. What do they have now? An A-Data 450 watt, okay. Uh oh so Core Reactor 650 watt or better. Let's see, power supplies, 650 watt. Yeah, so, okay. Let's go back to the email real quick. Let's go ahead and accept this one. And we'll go to the shop here. And it still won't let me add the basket assigned to a job. So that's fine. That's fine. Let's take a look at this one. Hey man, Gaza here. Just saw some sick PC cases in a magazine. You think you can do me one in yellow? It's all about that Chardonnay. Cheers, man. So paint the case yellow. Do not customize glass can do. So let's go back to the shop. We'll go check out here. Is it possible to assign this to that there? Yeah, there we go. So we'll buy that now and close that out. You can now renovate the storefront allowing you to build and sell your own PCs. Check your email for details. Okay. Well, we already did that, I think. So, so let's end the day and we should be good to go. Oh, we're gonna get a cut screen. And an achievement. Whoa, is that our storefront? I don't, we never got to do this in the beta. <laughs> this is cool. Time to branch out a little and start selling your own PCs in your shop. Let's build our first PC to sell, open the tablet, and check out the new Spares and Repairs app. Spares and Repairs. Find broken PCs for sale and repair them to sell in your shop. Offers are updated every day. Let's keep an eye open. So it's going to tell us what profit we're going to possibly get if we fix these. Hmm. So I have to buy this one. It's been delivered and waiting on our workbench in the shop front. Be sent directly to the delivery area. Move to the PC and let's see what needs doing. Okay. Uh, do we want to do this now or go continue what we were doing? Uh, this... This storefront looks so much nicer than <laughs> than the back room. Oh, man. Oh, look at the shelves. This is nice. Got some motherboards. Graphics cards back there on the wall. Some peripherals. Heck, yeah. Royal Duarte Bank. Dynabeard Chicken Emporium. Oh, Chuck's Chicken Emporium. Mama's Real Pizza Place. <laughs> oh, man. More peripherals over there. And then I guess these are places we can set PCs for sale. Um. All right. All right. I'll bite. Let's see. This PC has a stick of broken RAM. Let's open the case, remove the old stick, and put in a new one. So is this going to just tell us what's wrong every time, or... I'm assuming it's just part of the tutorial. Let's zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. Do we have... Oh, I guess we have a new stick of RAM. They just... They gave us one. Okay. That's what I'm assuming. B 
back back out so we can put the side panel on. So we'll probably end up doing some of this, but it doesn't seem like we can just get used parts. Like we used to be able to just get used parts and build a PC. All right, let's power this sucker on. Uh, can I not select the screen? Okay. Take the PC to the shop and turn it into cash. So we're gonna go put it up in the front window. Now let's set a price. Edit computer, why do I have to name it? Buy me, please. A uh, thousand thirty-five dollars, hundred percent chance of sale. Oh, so I can't change the. Oh, I can change the price. I've earned a bonus from renaming. Okay, some bonuses may not be available yet. You'll need to progress further into career mode. Okay, check back in the morning and see if it's been sold. Case customizations, new cables, overclocking, 3D Mark score. I'll increase the final value of a PC. You can set the price up to fifty percent higher than the recommended retail price. This reduces the chances of it selling. Okay, good to know. All right, well we've done that. Let's go. Let's go back and work on what we were previously working. I'm sprinting, by the way. If you're wondering why the heck I was going so fast. <laughs> okay, so we've got an upgrade and a paint the case. Let's do the upgrade first. Let's do the upgrade first, since our bench is already kind of set up. Let's see here. <laughs> property of something and they've scratched it out and written their own name there. That's funny. <laughs> they did it on this side of the case too. Okay, so let's uh, remove all these cables. I find it easier from this side of the case because you can just click on all the cables. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting I don't have quick screw. Uh, let's see. Install. So we need power supplies. Oh, did I not pick up the parts? Nope, there it is. You guys got to tell me when I don't pick stuff up. Man. Okay. <laughs> let's get the 650 watt power supply in. And then we'll get it cabled. I'm assuming I still don't have access to like cable colors yet. Are we still, oh, hard drive. And then we'll get this all plugged up. I need quick cable and quick screw. There we go. All right, let's power this on. I'm gonna see if it'll let me hop into the BIOS. We'll see if Professor Edmund, he did need XMP turned on. We will let this boot. And while it's doing so, I'm gonna get side panels put back on, on his stolen PC. Man, screwing these in takes forever. There we go. All right, this is done. This is done out in the hall, and then we've got this one to paint. So we'll change this workbench with B to case modding. And then they don't want us to paint the glass. They wanted some sort of yellow. Should we go light yellow, maybe? Okay, so let's do hard. We don't want it on glass. Let's make it as big as it can be. So that whole side is glass. Does that look Chardonnay-y? Okay. 
Yeah, that whole side's glass, and we can't paint the back, so I think we're done with that. That's so quick. That is so quick. Okay, let's get the tablet back up. We'll close that out. We'll hop into the email here. And let's find these ones that we just did. So here's the one that we painted. 180 bucks. And this is the one where we put in a new power supply. 340 bucks profit. We'll take that too. Let's see what we got. New parts available. Nothing exciting. And we leveled up. And still, well... Nothing overly exciting. Next milestone, level five. Oh, that unlocks auto cabling, auto connect, auto screw, and auto standoff. Faster installation upgrade and the quick cable tool. All right, so level five is where it's at. <laughs> uh, so we've got some offers from that spares and repairs thing. We may look at that in a bit. I want to keep working on some of this stuff. We've got... Assistance required, and it looks like something with stickers. We haven't done the stickers thing yet, so we'll get onto that. This email says, I seem to be in need of an upgrade to my available storage as my current hard drive is groaning beneath the collective weight of my video files. To be specific, I need you to add 960 gig SSD to my current storage. I trust you will be able to conduct the necessary adjustments with ease and leave my computing device in your capable hands. Okay, so install ADATA Ultimate. So let's go ahead and accept that. This thing, um, a shop. Storage. So they want the A Data Ultimate. So let's do that and that and confirm. So that's in our basket. And then for this one says, I know it's only been a moment since my last email, but art does not exist at our convenience. I'm currently planning an ambitious new installation on the nature of language and have arrived at the threshold of that humblest of modern hieroglyphs, the emoji. Abstract and yet plump with meaning, could it be the gateway to a purer form of expression? To cut to the chase, you'll see how words can often get in the way of the very point we're trying to make. Do you have any emoji stickers you could apply to my case? I feel this could be just the thing to spark my imagination. Sure thing. Sure thing. All right, let's go back to the shop. We didn't need to get anything else. We'll go ahead and check out here. And I'm pretty sure we have accepted both of these. Perfect. And I'm going to end the day. And we should get this stuff in. And we can emoji some things up. And we can replace this SSD or add it, I guess. You can now check your profits using the tablet and the shop sales app. Shop sales made $395. Check back regularly to keep up to date with your shop sales. Okay. Well, when we start selling stuff, then we'll keep up to date with it. All right. So let's do, let's see, we painted last. So I think we will do this first. There we go. So let's get to sticking. So we need to click the stickers. And they want some sort of... Uh, uh, some sort of stickery action. Can we, how do you adjust the size of these? Scroll to zoom. No, that's not it. Control. Control. There we go. So we can just, the case has the right number of stickers and it's ready to return. Well, but, but I, I'm not done. I, I, <laughs> I want to sticker this all up. There, now I'm done. Okay, <laughs> let's go put this in the back room. Um, we need to grab our SSD and we'll grab the upgrade here. Change the bench back to build mode. Okay. Man, this is so slow. Painfully slow. So I know they said to upgrade. Are we, are we just adding... Are we just adding the storage? 
Uh, I probably have to take this side off, don't I? Okay. So, where, what? I can't put it in one of these. All right. So that's installed. Let's cable it. Uh, is there really anything else we have to do other than make sure it boots? Oh, I guess I need to cable this to check for, <laughs> for it to boot. Okay, there we go. Now we can power it on. I'm going to hop into the BIOS because every single one of these uh, has needed XMP turned on, as did this one. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to get the side panels put back on while it's booting up, hopefully. Oh, it booted up before I could get the side panel on. So we'll get these put back on. And then we can get this out in the hall. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we should be able to go ahead and collect these. 140 bucks just to put some stickers on. Dang. And we'll collect this. Uh, total profit was 190 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we got some new parts. Okay. And a 7700K. And here's some more broken stuff. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about selling stuff in this shop. We'll see. So we've got some more jobs here. PC can play a game. We've got remove viruses and 16 gigs of RAM and a 1060 six gig or better. What is this? We have spam. We get spam now. Oh my. <laughs> you got brains. We want them. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not even going to read through that. That's that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so we'll probably do these in the next episode. This episode's getting fairly long. But we are almost at level 5 and we were able to get this whole storefront done. Look at this thing. This is amazing. We'll have to do some more stuff out here in the storefront. For sure. What is that? Write more notes? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. You know all the things to do, but if you haven't done so, hit subscribe. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.